My great grandfather, uh, Joseph, who was 37, uh, and his son, George, uh, who was 16, uh, they both got jobs on the Lusitania. Initially, it was um, George who got his father the job. Uh, he was out of work, and um, although his mother wasn't very happy about him joining him, uh, because they'd be together, she was quite uh, reluctant, but she said, OK, that's fine, we, we, we'll have to sort it out. Don't like you not being home, but we'll manage. He didn't like the job at all, um, his father. He, he just couldn't take to it. And on his first trip, he was more or less saying, I don't think I'll be coming back. When the torpedo struck the Lusitania, um, George, uh, he went to find his dad and he met on deck. Uh, and his father realised that George couldn't swim and he also didn't have a life belt. So he gave him his and he said to him, uh, I'm going to find another one. Do you just wait here? But George never seen him again. Um, he ended up having to bail. He waited till the last minute, and in the end, somebody said, "You're gonna have to go." So he, he launched himself into the water. Um, eventually, he became unconscious. Somebody had strapped him to some wreckage. Uh, and after a good while, it was about six or seven hours, I believe. The Indian Empire was the rescue vessel, hauled him on board, um, and apparently, he was really, really bad. Not far off dead, I believe, uh, what, what I was told. He managed to pump him and get the water out and brought him round. And then they went into Cove, uh, which was the small town in Ireland where the, the, the ship, um, the survivors and the, the, the ones who were rescued went to. And uh, he searched everywhere for his father. Um, with, to no avail, they, they couldn't find him anywhere. He went round all the makeshift morgues, but it was no use. But in the meantime, uh, they were given, the crew were all given one chance to telegraph home. So he sent a telegraph to his mother saying that they were both safe. Um, and later on, when he realised, he, he, he couldn't, he just still couldn't tell his mother what was happening. And it was not until he got home, uh, they sailed uh, a few days later. And even on that sailing, they were warned about putting the life belts on because of submarines again uh, on the trip back home uh, to Liverpool. When he eventually got to Liverpool, to uh, Lime Street Station, which is the big station in Liverpool, um, he couldn't face his mother. She was standing there with the, young, the youngest child, and he dodged her, and he ran over to St George's Hall, which is directly opposite Lime Street Station. And he, he just sat there for a while, and the local parish priest was about, and, and he spotted him, and he poured out a story, and he, he took him round to his mother, and that was when she found out that her husband was dead. Some of the things I do know about uh, George and his father, they worked uh, 14 hour days in the kitchen uh, before, you know, so many hours, but 14 hours usually with a couple of breaks in between. Um, and it, they were happy talking about football and stuff. George was particularly trying to keep his dad on track because he wasn't feeling too good. But they were just some of the normal things. They were happy with the wages. They sent quite a, quite a bit of wages home to, to the family. Uh, and then once the tragedy was over, um, within weeks, George literally had to go back on another ship because in them days there was no money. He didn't go back to sea. He just had no money to feed the family. And they were one down, obviously. So within literally within weeks, George was back on another ship. Within Liverpool, I mean, the, the, the Lusitania was affectionately known as Lucy. Uh, everybody knew her as Lucy. Lucy's in uh, next Friday, or Lucy's on her way out. And um, from what I'm led to believe, when on the maiden voyage uh, from Liverpool, there was a couple of hundred thousand people to see her off. Within the family, as I say, the, the, it's always been a story, and as it, it did inspire me. But other than that, it's, I think it's a big story for the city of Liverpool. Titanic always takes the glory, um, just for the very fact that, that it went down on its maiden voyage. But the Lusitania had done 200 trips there and back to New York, um, and was over seven years. So she did have a good history of sailing the Atlantic, and it was just a tragedy that's uh, the way it happened to her.